Surfer City will be the host community for this year's Emancipation Day celebrations on August 1st. The western town is the historic gateway to freedom for runaway slaves on Ireland and provides the ideal backdrop for what is expected to be a joyous commemoration of the birth of St. Lucian and Pan-African consciousness. Under the theme, Enkindling Our Consciousness, the entire month of August will be dedicated to celebration of the heroines and heroes who transformed and reshaped St. Lucia's social consciousness and political fabric. This will be achieved through a series of lectures and artistic expressions. Speaking on this year's activities, Minister for Culture Dr. Ernest Tiller expressed optimism of another exciting month following the eventful St. Lucian Carnival. The whole notion of recognizing heroines and heroes um, is something we really want to continue to push to recognize who were the leaders that fought for freedom and for emancipation. Um, we're thinking of actually having a dedicated wall with the names of all the freed slaves on it. Um, we think that's quite important. We have monuments for the end of World War II. So why shouldn't we have one for the, the, the freedom, freedom wall? Um, <clears throat> This month, you know, is going to be exciting, and it ends in La Rose, of course, as you know, and and that too um, is an exciting time of of the of the year. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Coming after carnival and and jazz, we're certainly looking forward to another exciting month. The minister went on to highlight the potential to elevate the festival into an internationally recognized celebration of Pan Africanism. Dr. Hilaire Bedis that officials can construct a niche market of academic and cultural travelers. I think we can grow it and have it maybe more intellectual academic tourists, you know, conf a conference on emancipation, on, on Pan-Africanism and that kind of thing, have a real global conference on, on black thought in literature and whatnot, things like that as part of Emancipation Month where we attract an entirely different demographic from the, tra the leisure demographic or the, the event demographic. Um, so it's something we can think about. I, I don't think it's the, the nature of it leads to the kind of mass um, numbers that we would have for a carnival or a jazz or even a cricket, for example. Um, but we can create a niche with it where people know every year they go to St. Lucia, there's an international conference that focuses on emancipation and black history and attract. And, and you can have four or five hundred people coming down for a conference. Um, so, so that is something we can look at. This year's emancipation festivities began on July 29th with a lecture by Dr. Morgan Dalfind and will continue this weekend with a reenactment of the Battle of Rabot in Tufre as well as the Breadfruit Festival. The month-long festival will continue with the Lawas Festival from August 17th and the Day of People of African Descent on August 31st. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sejis.